good morning and uh, welcome back to uh, another edition of the Hiking Journal. In today's episode, we're going to be taking a trip up to the South Lycan Trail, which is in Palm Springs. It's kind of right above Palm Springs, so I'll get a great view looking straight down on Palm Springs, the Coachella Valley, and uh, Desert Hot Springs, Cathedral City, all of those areas that you're familiar with in uh, the Palm Springs area. There's a gorgeous day out there. The day I went, daytime high was uh, probably... I'm going to say low 70s. By the time I got down to the bottom at the end of the hike, it was like 75, which was just a stunning day to be out in Palm Springs. And the reason I went there was to, uh, I've been dying to see those damn bighorn sheep forever. And this was the, the highest possibility of finding them was along the South Lycan Trail. Um, I've been to the Araby Trail, Araby Burns Trail on the other side of the valley. Saw bighorn sheep there too. So this one has the likelihood of even seeing more. And uh, a few days before my trip, I actually ran into uh, uh, some people that said they had been out there and they had seen bighorn sheep on the trail. And uh, according to all trails, uh, people had seen up to 15 or 20, a whole herd uh, on the trail. So anyway, I was excited about that. Uh, today, we've got a great big storm coming in. It's kind of late for, uh, for a spring storm. You know, it's, it's early spring, but you know, for a winter storm, it, it, it's kind of late. In the year, and you can see the Doppler over here on the computer that it's uh, it's going to be a good one, and it's coming here in about uh, about 30 minutes is when we're going to see this big orange and uh, and yellow uh, echo on the uh, on the Doppler. So anyway, I've got all the drains cleared and uh, all the umbrellas put down in the backyard, so we're ready for a good gully washer, I guess today. And uh, but uh, anyway, so this will be a good hike. Uh, it's the first hike of the year for me wearing the Luna sandals. And uh, I, you know, I haven't worn them as much recently because it's been too cold in the winter. So I was excited to get out and uh, wear the Luna sandals on the trail. And uh, some of the things I discovered on this hike uh, was it's uh, the parking lot is literally right next door to the uh, Tacquets Canyon um, hike area where the Tacquets Falls are. And there's a visitor center there, and they have a great big parking lot, and you're not allowed to park there. So I found that out. Uh, but uh, the hike was about 10 miles, about 2,200 feet elevation gain. Uh, and I'll get into a little more of that as I, as I head up on the hike. But um, the other thing I wanted to mention real quick is my surgery is coming up. Uh, it's coming up in uh, less than two weeks, 10 days. And uh, once that happens, I'll be, uh, I'll be dead in the water for hiking for a while. Uh, but I do have some stuff, uh, as they say, in the can, stuff that I've done that I'm going to be putting out there. Hopefully I'll be able to edit it with one arm, you know, because I can't use this arm, this will all be tied up in a sling. So hopefully I'll be able to do something with it and uh, at least uh, give you something to watch while I'm recuperating from my, uh, from my shoulder surgery. So anyway, uh, stay tuned for this episode, uh, the trip up to South Lycan Trail in Palm Springs, California. That'll all be coming up next in this edition of the Hiking Journal. Stick around. Well, good morning and uh, welcome to another edition of the Hiking Journal. Uh, it's spring, <laughs> and you wouldn't know it. It's it's cold and it's wet and it's drizzly, and uh, uh, I'm heading out to Palm Springs. Uh, two days ago, I was wearing shorts, flip flops, and uh, it's a 40 right here. And I'm in Anza. I'm heading out toward uh, uh, Palm Desert, Palm Springs, Cathedral City. Actually, it's probably more like Palm Springs. Uh, finally getting around to go doing uh, the uh, South Lycan Trail, the trail I've been wanting to do for a long, long time. And uh, hopefully I'll see some bighorn sheep today. Who knows? You know, I've gotten to the point now where, you know, I, I've been shut out like three times now. So I'm not really anticipating actually seeing them. Even though I did see a report, a trip report, somebody wrote just a few days ago said they saw them. 20 big horn in the first mile, so I don't know, we'll see. But uh, yeah, we had a big storm brewing in. You know, this is El Nino year, so it's still it's still coming. And uh, uh, it's gonna be Easter this next weekend. And uh, so it's supposed to be a big storm coming in for Easter. So anyway, I had a long drive. It's uh, an hour and 40 minutes from my house and about 75 miles. I had to kind of go around the mountain. I got to go around uh, San Jacinto Mountains, actually. So anyway, so right now I'm in Anza and it's 40 degrees. And, uh, the sun is finally starting to break up a little bit to the east. It's supposed to be 71 or 72 in Palm Springs, which ought to be gorgeous. And it should be clear. So cross our fingers, uh, we'll have some good weather and uh, 
you see a big horn sheep. Anyway, that'll all be coming up here in a few minutes. Uh, I'll probably record a little more when I get to the trailhead. But anyway, I'll see you in a bit. All right, well, that's kind of an ominous start to our day here in Palm Springs. I drove 70 miles out to a, almost downtown. I'm already out of breath. It's kind of a steep hill I've had to come up. And the directions on all trails have you going to the Takwas Canyon Visitor Center. So I got there, parked, got all my stuff out, started walking toward the visitor center, and then I saw all the signs that this is not for the South Lycan Trail, it's for Takwas Canyon only. All of the vehicles will be towed. If you're for South Lycan Trail, your car will be towed. So that's nice. There's just a ton of people here. Forgot this is the first week, uh, first day or two of spring break. There must have been 20 girls, college age or high school age, wearing shorty short shorts and bikini tops. So it's gonna be wild, spring break gone wild here in Palm Springs. Well, good morning and uh, welcome back to another edition of the Hiking Journal. Today I'm out in uh, Palm Springs, California, and I'm gonna be doing a trail called the South Lycan Trail. I'm just below the uh, Takwoods Canyon Visitor Center. And uh, I was kind of surprised that when I got here, uh, I parked up there, got all my stuff, and I was ready to head out on the trail, and there were signs everywhere saying that uh, there's no parking for the South Lycan Trail. So anyway, I had to move the car about a half mile down the road, and now I humped up the road, and now I'm, uh, uh, I'm going to start up the South Lycan Trail proper. I ran into a Riverside County firefighter, uh, Blanca, and she was really sweet. So she's going to be heading up the trail ahead of me, and I told her just don't scare the sheep because I'm kind of going to be coming right behind her. So anyway, it looks like it's going to be a gorgeous day. Temperature is about 71 degrees, and that's about uh, that's the daytime high, 71. It's about 62 right now. Perfect weather for a hike out here in the uh, inland valley areas of Palm Springs. Anyway, follow me up the trail. Well, I've gone just a short ways up the trail, and uh, this is uh, the Takwitz Canyon Visitor Center. And it looks like there's some hikers that are working their way into Takwitz Canyon. Parking lot is full. In fact, down below, a ranger moved the sign down to the bottom of the parking lot and closed it completely. Well, I'm just a short ways up the South Lycan Trail, and it's pretty steep to start. As you can see, uh, got a pretty good view. That's the uh, parking lot for Takwitz Canyon. The visitor center is tucked in behind the hill. We got a great view overlooking uh, Palm Springs. And uh, you see, just on the back side of that is Joshua Tree. Looks like it's gonna be a pretty day. Show me the bighorns. Well, as I'm working my way up along the South Lycan Trail, I kind of wanted to tell you what I got on. I'm wearing my, uh, wearing my Luna sandals. It's the first Luna sandal trip of the year. I was a little worried it was going to be a little chilly, but I'm sweating right now. It's uh, probably only in the low 60s, but that sun is just beating down on me. It feels like 80 right now. But uh, I have a one and a half liter hydration bag in the back. I got a 16 ounce bottle of electrolyte replacement on this side and a 20 ounce bottle of Gator Light on this side. So I've got, oh, I don't know, almost three liters of water between the two of them, three of them. And uh, I should be fine today. Like I said, it's not that hot. And uh, carrying a map, I have a compass, I have my Garmin in reach in case I run into troubles. Uh, I do have a few snacks, some energy gels, some sport beans that I've been using a lot lately. And uh, I should be fine. I was going to bring a lunch, but I thought, you know, I'm probably going to get over to the other side and then come back this way. And I'm hoping to be back by the car, back to the car. And by 3 o'clock, I'm hoping. So I have lunch and some beverages in the car, too. So in the meantime, i got to keep going up the trail. i got to go find them sheep. I do have a great view looking off this direction. In fact, the road that I initially parked on, Mesquite is way down there. You can see the parking lot for the 
Taquas Canyon Visitor Center. You still can't see the visitor center, it's tucked back behind. But boy, what a great view. Palm Springs and this uh, is a somewhat rocky trail and it's steep. And uh, it's amazing how they engineered the route of this. It must have been a pretty difficult build up here. But boy, what a great, what a great shot up here. Standing views. Standing views. Wow. All right, well, I got to show you the view that I have from here. That road down there is Palm Canyon Avenue. Check out this view right here as we climb to the top of this ridge. It's a view off the other side. That's where we're going. This is where we got to really keep a close eye out on those sheep. It's cactus blooming down there. Hopefully we'll see more of that. Isn't that pretty? It's blooming. Right into uh, a few more hikers. They've all said the same thing. No sheep. That's about my luck. Oh, here's some cactus down here that's blooming. Right off the trail, you gotta see this. This is gonna be awesome. What a great view though. And it's hot, I'm already getting tired. <laughs> Way off in the distance at the head of that canyon, that's Takwitz Creek and that's Takwitz Falls down there. Park at the uh, Takwitz Canyon Visitor Center and I think you have to pay a fee. This is all Indian uh, land, I believe. And you'll hike down along the creek there from the Visitor Center and eventually reach your destination, Takwitz Falls. You hear it way up here. Well, this looks like just a, a good as place as any to pop some sport beans. These are uh, extreme sport beans. Quick energy for sports performance. And these have caffeine in them. Plus the sugar, these are really good. actually getting tired. The funny part is down there, that's my car. All I've done is switchbacks up and down the side of this hill. I don't know how much further I have to go to get to the top. Doesn't look like too much. I am feeling a little dizzy though. I'm going to have to step up my uh, <clears throat> hydration. I do have another two more packs of these sport beans, and I've got a cliff bar, and I think I have a goo packet in there as well. That breeze feels good right here, though. Boy, what a view. 270 degree view of the Coachella Valley. That's impressive. Well, I've reached the top of this ridge line here. It looks like I'm going to be going to the right. And uh, ran into three more hikers. None of them have seen any sheep today. And not even any droppings. So I was thinking I was going to be heading behind me and work my way down toward Palm Canyon. But it looks like, when you think about it, this is the South Lichen Trail. The North Lichen Trail is to my right. So it looks like I'm going to be going from south to north, and I'll drop down there. But in the meantime, I've seen a few lizards. I've seen uh, a couple of chipmunks just ran through. And uh, ravens are soaring in the thermals. No hawks, which I'm kind of surprised about. Um, 
I also noticed on this side, there's more barrel cactus. As you can see, there's four of them right there, or more than that, six or seven in view. So more of the south and uh, facing ridge lines get a little more sun. So that explains that. I keep going here, see if I can run into something. Well, I climbed up the top of this ridge line. And I ran across this nice little spot up here. It's got several picnic tables. It's called the Josie Johnson Vista Park. It's got some great views. There's a lot of lizards roaming around. Still haven't seen any sheep. I might take a break here for a few and keep my eyes open. As I enjoy the Josie Johnson Vista Park here above Palm Springs. You can see the windmills way up in the distance. Well, here you can see the, uh, the barrel cactus starting to bloom. Gorgeous flowers right here at the Josie Johnson Vista Park. Now, as I'm working my way south on the Lycan Trail, what I wanted to show you was something that just dawned on me. See the golf course over there? And then you see that mountain right over there? That's Gohia Mountain. And those houses that are perched, I'll zoom in as best I can without it getting too blurry. Those houses that are nestled up the top, that's the James Bond house and the Bob Hope Mansion on uh, the Airby Burns Trail that loops around the top of Gohia Mountain. Gohia Mountain is that uh, pointy spot on the top. You can see a little rock pile way on top. We were just there uh, last year about this time. You know, as I'm working my way south on the, uh, on the Lycan Trail, you know, it's, it's very green, a lot greener here than I thought. Maybe it's because it's spring here in the desert, but you would think on a day like today with the green shoots of the grass and the brush, nice warm sun, cool breeze, you think the sheep would be out here by the herds. And so far, nothing. Trail conditions have been pretty good. It was steep in the beginning, but it's uh, it's not so bad now. It's meandering up and down, and it's not so bad. And even though the sun is pretty intense, cool breeze makes a big difference. And there's a nice barrel cactus, small one, but looks like there's our trail. I think. That was indeed the top, and it looks like we're working our way down that direction. Maybe the South Lycan Trail is called that, not because it's on the south, but because it heads south. It looks like I'm going to spit out over there somewhere, down at the bottom. I'm going to have to either I come back up here again, or I go down the road. Well, since I crested the high point on this trail, it looks like I'm continuing south. And, uh, you know, you're never far from civilization. You know, you can hear the fire truck and the ambulance down there. But I have come across somewhat of a barrel cactus garden. There's several of them here. Some are quite large and scenic. What I've also noticed is there's a lot of overhangs. Great spots for snakes. And I haven't really had the time to investigate them. Maybe on the way down I'll, I'll be able to do that. The barrel cactus are pretty amazing up here. And the further you get at this ridge line, the more there are. I ran into a, an older man with probably his daughter, and they said they have not seen any sheep today. He said they are camera shy. 
so far it seems to be the case. Nonetheless, even though I haven't seen any sheep, it is pretty up here. Cross our fingers. As I work my way down the trail, I'll check out this cactus. Isn't that pretty? It's gorgeous, huh? All along the trail here, above Palm Springs. Well, as I continue to descend down the South Lycan Trail, you can see that brown line right there. You can kind of tell where I'm going. And way off in the distance, way down there, you can also see more of it. I think that right there is just a fire road of some kind that goes to the, the water tower. I don't think that's part of the trail. My trail is to the right. I don't know, you never know. But you can see the backside of San Jacinto from here. And what you can't see are the bighorn sheep. <laughs> so it looks like this section of trail can be kind of a little on the monotonous side, so I'm going to get through this as quickly as possible. I don't know if I want to come back up here again and go around all the way back to where I started. I might just work my way down to the road and do the shameful road walk back to the car because this has a lot of incline for no sheep. So we'll see. All right, well, I still haven't seen any sheep, but I did get some encouraging news. I passed about 20 or 30 hikers down at this northern end, actually the southern end of the trail. And the last lady that came by just told me that uh, they're all down low and they're all just south, closer to the Osmet Trail is what she said. Never heard of that one, but maybe if we get, if we get lucky, maybe. We'll see at least some sign as we get closer to the road. Another lady told me that they were at PGA West, which is a golf course. They were hanging out the golf course, I guess. Going to the 19th hole, having a pina colada. I don't know. But uh, it's a lot busier on this end. This is more, a lot more of a gradual trail than the other side. The other trail was uh, a lot steeper, a lot rockier. This one's actually nice. It's a great trail for sandals, that's for sure. What a view though, huh? And they're right, there isn't really any shade at all here. So, you know, if you're looking for shade, this is not the trail, you need a wide brim hat. I'm just wearing a bandana today. I probably would have been better off with a wide brim hat. So we'll see, cross our fingers when we get farther this way. We'll see some. Boy, what a view though, huh? Wow. Oh. Whew. You know, I also noticed a lot of people taking pictures of a place called the Simonetta Viewpoint. Simonetta Kennett Viewpoint, and it looks like this is it. I'm going to stop here and take a break, get some hydration, and uh, maybe have a snack. Spend some time, maybe I'll find some sheep, who knows. Let's see if I can find a spot to sit. There are several people up here. A couple over there, and there's some more to my left. There's another picnic table, I'll go sit over there. Well, you can uh, pretty much see what I've got left. I'm gonna be going down along the ridge right here. All the way down there to the bottom, there's the highway way down there, and that's where I'm gonna end up. And from there, it's a road walk. So I'm not coming back up here. But I, the guy that I just ran into, he said he saw three sheep down here in the flatlands close to the trailhead, believe it or not. Nice flat area, lots of grass, so maybe we'll get lucky. That'll be my gift, leaving the, uh, the lichen trail. A lot busier on this end, the lower end at least. There's hikers way over there. I wonder if that's part of my trail. Could very well be.
Well, my luck held out. And lo and behold, right around the corner down there are three big full curl ram sheep. Those are the only sheep that anybody has seen today. A lot of times you'll see the herd, you'll see the the ewes and the the little ones and you'll see the big males guarding them. But I guess today all we get are the, the bachelor pad, which I'm okay with. So at least I can say I finally did run into some sheep along the trail on the South Lycan Trail. Now I just gotta work my way down alongside this ridge with phenomenal rocks and uh, fact check this out. That's pretty cool, huh? We're going continuation of the trail. The South Lycan Trail goes that way. We're gonna work our way down to the highway. And originally I was thinking about, you know, going back up and over, but, you know, I realized it's about 2,300 feet of incline to get to the top. But what you don't think about is you gotta do it twice. Cause you go up to 22, 23, and then you work your way all the way to pound back to Palm Canyon Highway, which is about where you started. And then you had to go all the way back up to that 2300 uh, elevation spot. And then uh, work your way down the steep switchbacks back to your car. So since I know for a fact there's no sheep at the higher elevations, I think this is about as good as it's gonna get. And here's the sign for people that are coming up. Carl Lycan Trail. No dogs, no bicycles. Well, anyway, should be getting uh thought I saw something back there. Should be getting uh, back to the highway, at least not to the car, but to the highway here in about 15 minutes or less. It's like it's fairly easy walking from here on out. And then I just gotta hoof it down the highway, about two miles back to the Jeep. But anyway, at least I got to finally explore the South Lycan Trail and I got to see some sheep, huh? Got to see some lush fields of barrel cactus, some prickly pear in bloom, some wildflowers, lots of lizards. Ran into quite a few very nice people. And best of all, some tremendous views all along the way overlooking Palm Springs. So once I get back to the car, I'll have a beverage or two. Call it a day. I love these rocks. These rocks are neat. Well, this looks like the end of the Lycan Trail. This is where the South Lycan Trail dead ends back on Palm Canyon Highway, it looks like. A lot of cars parked on the road here, so. It looks like uh, this is where my road watch starts. All right, well, I'm making the uh, the road walk of shame <laughs> from the far end, far southern end of the South Lycan Trail uh, down Palm Canyon Drive. I thought I'm not going to go back up and over that. I didn't see any sheep. I'm hot. I'm thirsty. And uh, so I'm just going to walk the two miles down Palm Canyon back to Mesquite and head back up Mesquite to my car. It shouldn't take me uh, more than about 45 minutes, I would think. I should be back in the car. Yeah, at least it's nice and flat and level here. I'll take it. I can't wait to get to the car and get something cold to drink. Well, I finally made it back to the car. Boy, that was quite the road walk. That was a... Uh, anyway, that was quite the road walk. That was, a, that was a tough... That was a tough two miles, I swear. It seemed like a lot further than that. Hottest part of the day between uh, 12 and 1 is when I decided to make this road walk. I could have gone up and around, but I just didn't have it in me. My feet are a little tired, you know? I used to wearing sandals, so I'm going to go get some fresh drinks 
or ice cold and uh, take a break before I hit the road. Well, I made it uh, up to the top of the South Lycan Trail to the Josie Johnston Lookout. And I worked my way all the way along the ridge line, all the way to the uh, Simonetta Kennett Lookout on the far southern end before I dropped down into the, uh, uh, the initial start of the trail on that end, on the southern end. And uh, did get lucky, did see some sheep on the far end, which I was excited about. They were kind of off in the distance, so we'll see how good the video comes out. But better than nothing, at least I can say I saw some. Uh, the last two-mile road walk was a lot tougher than I thought. Uh, it's, you know, flat, but it's, it's concrete. And uh, a lot of the places, there's no sidewalk. So you got to kind of be careful. Come around a blind corner, and uh, there's a you know, six-inch curb you got to balance on, and cars come, you know, blasting around the corner. So it's not a real safe spot. Your best bet is to uh, cross over on the other side of the road. And uh, since I'm here, getting caught up on my hydration uh, along Mesquite, Avenue or Mesquite Road or Boulevard or whatever this is, it's right at uh, Bellardo, and uh, that's kind of where you have to park for this trail. Um, I did see somebody mentioned parked on park on Mesquite, so I guess that's where you, what you got to remember, because once you get past Bellardo, it's a it's another half mile or so, maybe even three quarters of a mile up to the Tacos Canyon uh, Visitor Center, and there's no parking for you there. You can't, even though the trailhead's right there, they don't allow you to park there because they want you to go to the Visitor Center pay the use fee and go into Tacwitz Canyon. So anyway, people are parking down here now. They're actually going to Tacwitz because the lot is full. In fact, right when I started the hike up there, uh, the ranger came down and put a closed sign up, lot was full. So uh, this is spring break. And I guess that's what you get during spring break. You get a lot of people that come up here, get away from the colder environments and uh, kids have off from school. College kids are here, elementary, junior high, high school kids are out of school as well. So uh, a lot of the families come out here to enjoy an gro absolutely gorgeous day in Palm Springs. So anyway, I'm going to finish my energy drink. I've got my lunch in the car, and I'm going to start working my way back. And I did get smart. I put my, my Garmin InReach on my car keys, so I don't have to worry about losing it again. But uh, anyway, I hope you enjoy this edition of the Hiking Journal. My trip up the South Lycan Trail near Palm Springs, California. Anyway, this is going to be my last uh, last video for a while, my last hike for a while as I do my shoulder surgery. So maybe we'll be able to, if I'm able to type, I don't know if I will be able to get on the computer. Um, maybe I'll be able to finally get in that uh, my summer in the San Jacintos. Well, anyway, that'll do it for this edition. Take care, and I'll see you down the trail. Bye-bye. Well, what'd you think about that trip up to South Lycan? I actually did find the damn sheep for a change. As you know, I, it wasn't the greatest view. It was only three of them, but uh, they were kind of down in a little, in a little gully down below where I was at. But uh, at least I was able to say that I've seen some bighorn sheep. So, uh, you know, maybe next year will be better. But one of the guys I talked to on the trail toward the end of the hike is a local. He says he hikes up there every week, and he says the last couple of years uh, the sheep population has drastically been lower than what he's used to, and he says he doesn't know if it's because of the, the, the increased uh, moisture of the last uh, last year and then this year because of the uh, um, the El Nino year. Who knows? Maybe they're up higher up in the canyon. He doesn't know, but he says he hasn't seen as many. The other thing I thought was a little odd on this hike was uh, I didn't run into one snake, not one snake. Uh, I thought I would have seen a rattlesnake or, or something, you know, a gopher snake or, you know, something, a racer, anything, because it was a nice warm day and, this, and it was, uh, the sun was out, there was no shade anywhere along the trail, and I really, really thought I'd run into some, but uh, I didn't see anything. So anyway, um, since I do have a few more days left, I have like maybe two possible days that I might, just might be able to squeak out a short kind of easy day hike. Uh, I'm thinking about maybe trying to run out to Eagle Rock again because it's only seven miles. It's uh, mostly level. I mean, it's uphill all the way. There isn't, there's no such thing as a flat hike, but it's mostly level. And um, I read a trip report just from a couple days ago. The snakes are out, out in Warner Springs. So right now, the, this storm that's coming here is also working its way east toward the Pacific Crest Trail. And all those poor bastards that are on the PCT going northbound right now, they probably started a couple of weeks ago down in Campo on the Mexican border. And right now, they're probably working their way up through the Laguna Mountains and Warner Springs and eventually San Jacinto. So uh, San Jacinto's got a boatload of snow still. And uh, 
if you see uh, uh, the San Jacinto John's website, he keeps you up to date on what the snow levels are along the top. And right now they're they're advising people to get off the trail, uh, probably about Paradise Valley, and skip the whole San Jacinto section. But even if you do that, it doesn't mean that it's going to be any better when you get up to uh, uh, Big Bear and Arrowhead. It's just as bad up there. So uh, this might be a year where um, people do a little bit uh, a later start on the PCT or have to deal with a little more winter conditions. And uh, even though this storm is primarily down here, uh, for the last week, it, the Sierras have been getting hammered. I mean, uh, Mount Whitney and all along the eastern Sierras, uh, all of that area from Mammoth. Mammoth is, is still, it's April, and um, Mammoth is still open for skiing. So that tells you what conditions are going to be like up along the uh, eastern Sierras. Well, anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode, my trip up to the South Lycan Trail. Be sure and click and subscribe and uh, tap that notification bell so you're you get a, uh, a notice of whenever I post the uh, latest updates to the channel. And uh, since spring's coming, get out there and do some hikes. Get out there before it gets too hot for the summer. And uh, right now, all the waterfalls are flowing. The wildflowers are starting to bloom. And this is a great time to be alive and to be out and about as a hiker in Southern California. Well, anyway, take care, and I'll see you down the trail. Bye-bye.